Right behind me is Highway 101 and the intersection that everyone says is dangerous. The woman I spoke to said it was the worst wreck she has seen in her 18 years of working in the area. You're all good? Okay, girls are good. Mom, how's your beer? Coming to work today good? Okay. at the Taylor Station. Do you want a short one or a tall one? The employees here okay. knew to prepare for the inevitable conversations about Saturday's deadly crash. I didn't hurt to sleep last night. I just, all I could think about was those poor people and their families. Heather Knight owns the restaurant. Here in a couple she months. had just walked out on the patio when the crash happened. Was, I couldn't believe it. I just heard the loudest squealing tires and I, the impact was so loud. It was, it almost shook the building. She ran out front and saw the aftermath. As soon as I saw that car, I knew those people were dead. The Mason County coroner identified the victims as 72-year-old Charles Fury and 49-year-old Deolia Blanford, both from Olala. Deolia's family tells us the two were friends and hiking buddies. A Washington State Patrol trooper slammed into their car with lights and sirens on. The crash is still being investigated. When they put in those accelerator lanes on either side, yes. that helped a lot. For years, people in this area have called this intersection dangerous. Heather hopes this most recent wreck will lead to change. I have been saying for many years, the simplest solution they could do out there is to put in a traffic light. A big thank you to Deolia's family for sharing those pictures of her and Charles. We send our condolences to them. At least 37 wrecks have happened at this intersection behind me since 2015. That's according to numbers from WashDOT, and it doesn't count the near misses. I've seen about six since I've been out here, and all of it hammers home the point Heather and others have tried to make over the years. Something needs to be done to make this road safer. In Mason County, Cornelius Hawker, King 5 News.